Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been a hectic couple of days within Warzone. Obviously, we got our first major meta update just a couple of days back, nerfing a lot of the main broken weapons, things like the Bass B, which was going crazy for close and long range, uh, nerfs to the Interceptor to balance it out more. And in the update, there was also a slight nerf to the Akimbo tier pistol that just nerfed the overall close range damage on just the base Akimbo tier. But somehow, some way with that update, they broke the snake shot ammo. It was obviously not mentioned in the patch notes, so it was a secret change in the back end. Who knows if it was intentional or not, but for about 24 hours or so, the Akimbo snake shots ran wild in Warzone. But we did see an emergency meta update just go live to attack this alongside a handful of other mini updates as well. So I got you guys covered with all the need to know details today. If you enjoy the video as we dive into it all, do me a favor, drop a like on it. It would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee that every single day you are up to date with all things going on in COD, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. But all the information we've got here today is stemming from the Call of Duty Updates Twitter or X account. They've been posting a bunch of mini updates that have gone out. Keep in mind, these are all just like hot fix updates. Update requires restart might show up when you boot your game next. You just go through that cycle and all these changes will be automatically applied. But initially here for Modern Warfare 3 multi player all or nothing has been temporarily disabled while we investigate an issue preventing players from earning scores so i mean kind of a pretty big uh problem there if you're playing all or nothing it'd be nice to get some score and some xp so they've completely removed that for the time being while they fix that it will be back in a future hot fix update but for now you won't be able to play that in multiplayer there were also originally some issues as you may or may not know right now we're in the middle of a free access period for multiplayer and zombies so if you are a free-to-play player with warzone you can take advantage of this but on steam specifically there were some problems where it was making you constantly download a multiplayer pack and it was not letting you actually boot the game and install it correctly so now they've actually put out an update for this a minor update is now available to download on steam to resolve further issues preventing free access players from launching the game not a great selling point if you're trying to give away the uh, multiplayer for free and let players have a trial on it and they can't actually boot the game obviously so uh that'll be updated now it's all fine and dandy you can play the game for free regardless of what platform you're on for this weekend only on the 18th that will be coming to a close and then this is the big one for warzone a new update is out we've deployed an update to disable the use of snake shot ammunition on the tier handgun in public playlists it will remain visible in the gunsmith but will not be usable in a match so you could still have this on your setup but if you load into a game whether you're playing plunder or resurgence or battle royale it does not matter you're not going to be able to use the snake shot ammo on any of your tier builds whatsoever it doesn't matter if it's a saved blueprint if you just built it out it's no longer currently allowed in public playlists and this is what raven had to say about it so they went on and quote tweeted this and said we've disabled the snake shot ammunition on the tier handgun due to its overwhelming strength that's a good way to describe it because within 15 meters it could like two shot aka one tap if you have a kimbo on there uh anyone didn't matter if they were 10 health or 300 health utterly broken you might have seen the video uh which did not align with our intended vision for engagements it is funny that we had this crazy broken meta to start the year with the interceptor and the bass b just dominating an insta kill meta they finally fixed that and immediately within five hours and there's another insta kill meta with the tears and those are busted but uh obviously not an intended update it was a mistake as they well are aware now uh we are actively exploring ways to balance it in the future in conjunction with other planned adjustments we want everyone to enjoy themselves over the holidays within reason so this doesn't really give us an eta as to how long the snake shot ammo is going to be unavailable in game this does obviously mean it's coming back but they have to balance it first and a lot of what they alluded to in their initial patch note update from the other day was that this initial weapon tuning that we got with the interceptor nerfs and the bass b nerfs and uh the various other adjustments that we had were basically just hold this over uh throughout the holidays that way we didn't have these crazy broken metas dominating while everyone was on break from the studios obviously obviously, and that our next major meta updates in 2024 would attack things further and balance things out a little bit more. So it's quite possible that we don't see any snake shot ammo available for the tier all throughout the holiday break until they are back in office uh, in January. So definitely a big change there. And it's nice to see that while it was a rough 24 hours of the snake shots dominating every single close range gunfight, they were pretty quick here. And I also like the fact that they didn't take their time to, you know, make sure they balanced it in a random way and said, okay, let's try this 
this fix and see if it works and see if it takes players away from using it they just said all right it's too broken we'll remove it from the game that's a w way to go about it and uh and adjust it so that we don't have to deal with the broken level uh that it was obviously any more than we already did but that's not all for the updates there were a few other important ones that dropped over the past 24 hours or so the past couple of days initially there was a problem where a fetching online profile loop was preventing players from even playing warzone or modern warfare 3 but they have now updated this a minor update has gone live to address this issue impacted players need to restart their game for a fix to take effect but i'm sure by now you've probably restarted your game plenty if you were in the fetching online profile loop i did see a lot of concern about that though but but rest assured this is now fixed and you can play the game normally and actually boot to all the correct menus they also say for warzone they deployed an update to address an exploit that allowed players to remain in the gas for significantly more time than originally intended this is a thing every single launch with warzone we see some kind of stim glitch or gas mask exploit that allows you to camp in the gas for way way longer than you should be able to they were pretty quick on updating this though i had only seen a couple of clips by the time they put out this update here so uh, you'll no longer be able to cheese that if you're in the gas it's going to start doing significant damage over time obviously the longer that you're in it the more damage that it's dealing so another solid update there and then lastly raven did further clarify on a change that they made in those last patch notes in regards to resurgence one of the initial changes that they made here was the redeploy mechanic will now be disabled at the end of circle three and there was a lot of panic amongst the resurgence community saying wait that's gonna just kill the overall uh you know gameplay resurgence the lobbies are gonna die out super quick no one's gonna be coming back and uh lucky was actually pretty concerned about this he tweeted at raven and asked why they were doing this and they did clarify by saying this change was exclusive to urzikstan resurgence as the redeployment timer was incorrectly closing one circle earlier than intended so it wasn't actually something that is meant to uh slow anything down or change the pace it's actually to fix an issue that they had with launch there this should align the pacing of urzikstan resurgence with other resurgence modes aka von Dell and ashika as we are very happy with the reception that that uh, has received thus far so if you were concerned about urzikstan resurgence or resurgence in general potentially slowing down because of that change have no fear it's actually just a fix and not an actual nerf to gameplay or anything like that and it doesn't seem like there's going to be any pacing changes it seems like it's pretty hectic as is and they're a fan of that or rather they're a fan that were a fan of that i should say in terms of the community reception there so again just nice to see that there's clear and transparent communication here after a year where this just simply didn't exist they'd make a change and be like well why'd you make that and we'd get no answers so nice to see this shout out raven for being on top of the updates here and nerfing things accordingly responding to things accordingly it's definitely refreshing to see but that's everything that changed in the newest mini updates within warzone and mw3 alongside the emergency meta update that we got as well but that is going to wrap things up if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out to guarantee you're always up to date with everything going on in call of duty but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you later. Peace out.